as you are thinking about getting a tarantula, you should ask yourself, is it the right pet for me? Let's find out. First of all, when you're getting any type of pet, you should be aware of that no matter if it's a cat, a dog, fish, brain mantis or tarantula, it is a live creature and that each of them got its own personality and needs. So if you are a parent and you are considering getting a cool pet for your kid, you should be cautious because live animal is a responsibility and usually a long-term commitment. At first, tarantulas might seem like something really exciting, but in reality, they spend majority of their time in their hiding spot waiting for uh, prey to stumble. And they can even burrow, so you won't be able to see them at all for a few months. So if you are looking for something that will entertain you and your kid when you want it, you should really get some social animal instead. But they are low maintenance pets and really easy to keep. So they are ideal for busy people like myself that want to care for some animal, but don't have time or space for some pet that needs constant care or interaction. You feed and give them water once a week, clean the remains of a prey and that's basically it. And they also don't take much space. You probably saw videos of people holding their tarantulas. While that is possible, it is unnecessary risk for you and your pet. While there are some species of tarantulas that will tolerate you holding them, they are still wild unpredictable animals and even those species can suddenly become defensive. Just like you wouldn't hold your pet fish, tarantulas should also be a hands-off pet. And another thing you should consider before making a decision, they only eat live food like cockroaches, crickets or mealworms, so you need to make sure that you can get them food they need on a regular basis. So to sum it up, tarantulas are easy to care for, quiet, low cost, low maintenance, but also hands off, not cuddly and not very active pet. Females can live for more than 20 years, so they are also a long commitment pet. And you can have a display terrarium that will be a nice decoration to your house and also a great conversation piece. Next question you need to find the answer for is what is a good beginner species tarantula? But it is a story for another video, so if this video was helpful, please subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Bye!